Welcome back to our financial education series. Today, we're diving into the topic of hard money loans for individuals with bad credit. If you've been struggling to secure a traditional loan due to your traditional loan, due to your credit history, hard money loans might be a viable option for you. In this video, we'll explore what hard money loans are how they differ from traditional loans, and how you can obtain one even with bad credit. Let's get started. To understand hard money loans, let's start with the basics. A hard money loan is a type of loan that is secured by real estate. Unlike traditional loans that rely heavily on credit history, hard money loans are primarily based on the value of the property being used as collateral this makes them a viable option for individuals with bad credit, as creditworthiness is not the primary factor considered by lenders. Now that we know what hard money loans are, let's explore how they differ from traditional loans. Firstly, hard money loans are typically offered by private investors or companies rather than traditional financial institutions like banks. These lenders are willing to take on higher risk in exchange for potentially higher returns. Secondly, hard money loans have shorter terms compared to traditional loans. While traditional loans may have terms spanning several years, hard money loans often have terms ranging from a few months to a few years. This is because hard money loans are designed for short-term financing needs, such as real estate investments or property rehabilitation. Let's now discuss the advantages of hard money loans for individuals with bad credit. Firstly, as mentioned earlier, credit history is not the primary factor considered when evaluating a hard money loan application. Instead, the focus is on the value of the property being used as collateral. This opens up opportunities for borrowers with bad credit to secure the financing they need. Secondly, hard money loans offer a quicker and more streamlined application process compared to traditional loans. Since private lenders make their own lending decisions, the approval process is often faster. This is particularly beneficial for borrowers who need immediate access to funds for time, sensitive projects, or investments. Now, let's move on to the steps you can take to obtain a hard money loan, even if you have bad credit. Here are some key points to keep in mind. Research lenders. Start by researching reputable hard money lenders who specialize in working with borrowers with bad credit. Look for lenders with positive reviews and a track record of successful loan closings. Prepare your documentation. While credit history may not be the primary factor, lenders will still require certain documentation. This typically includes proof of income, property appraisals, and a detailed plan outlining your intended use of the funds. Focus on property value. Emphasize the value of the property you intend to use as collateral. Lenders will assess the property's market value and its potential for appreciation, so having a solid understanding of these aspects can strengthen your case. Be prepared for higher interest rates. Due to the increased risk associated with bad credit, hard money loans often come with higher interest rates compared to traditional loans. It's important to factor this into your financial planning. As we wrap up this video, it's important to remember that hard money loans can be a valuable tool for individuals with bad credit who are looking for short-term financing options. However, it's crucial to approach these loans with caution and thoroughly assess your ability to repay the loan on time. If you decide that a hard money loan is the right choice for you, take the time to research and select a reputable lender. Make sure you understand all the terms and conditions before signing any agreements. Remember, improving your credit score should still be a priority as it will open up more favorable lending options in the future. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next installment of our financial education series.
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.